He's a green. Oh, wow. I'm going down the hole. You have one rock in the back. Oh, yep, here, here. I get him. Welcome to beautiful Puerto Rico. Today, we're here at the University of Puerto Rico Research Center. We're meeting up with Dr. Dennis Ferraro, and we'll be studying the Cuban rock iguana. Come on, let's go check these guys out. We're here on a small research island off of the island of Puerto Rico in the Caribbean Sea. Years ago, in the 1960s, some people brought two trios, four females and two males of Cuban rock iguanas from Cuba and had them in a kind of zoo here on this island. When they finally just got rid of all the rats and cats that had gotten on the island, they started seeing these rock iguanas. So let's take a look at these and see if we can do a little head bobbing and show their territory. These are green. Oh, wow. I'm going down the hole. Which hole? I don't oh, see. Stop, right? Just right where you are. You see it? You see it? I can see it halfway down the hole. I see dirt Oh, yeah. I see the tail. Oh, yeah. I see him coming out of the hole. You have one rock in the back. Oh, yep, here, here. I get him. He took off. The greens make these big holes. Got it. Got it. Oh, wait, let me take that. And it did cave in on him. Maybe you can find a live one. This is the iguana that Dr. Ferraro found. Uh, these guys dig huge tunnels underground, and this one must have caved in, and it unfortunately killed the guy. This is, oh god, he's starting to stink. Oh yeah, he's been dead for a while. And this is, the, this is the green iguana that we see. So the green iguanas dig these tunnels underground and try to protect themselves from predators. As we saw earlier in the footage, the guy was, uh, was digging through as he saw us come, trying to dig a hole and go underground to protect himself. Unfortunately, this guy didn't make it. His whole, his little cave caved in on him and it crushed him to death. But we're gonna put him back over here and hopefully maybe a predator will pick him up and have lunch with this guy. So this is a dominant male. This is his territory. It's uh, he was chasing the others. He head bobs. If you don't submit, he'll come towards you. He will bite towards your nape. Whether you're male or female, if you're in his area, the females he's more receptive to their mating season. Then if you still approach him, he'll open his mouth and snort in defense. You can see the very large spikes on the nape of the neck and the, the bump spikes on the chin. So being a dominant male, he has good weight, approximately, I, estimating about at least 2,000 grams, probably a little more. Just see the scales on the face, they're just a, a beautiful animal.